Good morning to all and all. I am Sudha, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Computer Science, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kadalu. My subject, Dot Net Technology. In Dot Net Technology, how to create a login application in Windows Forms? Let us see. In Windows application, first you go into Start menu, Visual Studio 2010. We select a new project. In Windows application, we name that project. Name that project, then go to form1.cs. First, you start at the Visual Studio 10, you given one file name, then the file will be created. First, form1.cs for source code, first, form1.design for create a design login design. Next, we use a toolbox controls, properties, and solution explorer. In solution explorer, we using a form one, form two, form three, or added in a file. Form one, you design a login username, password, login connected to database. Button submit means the database login details are shown in database. In form 1, we using a group box. In group box, you design a label 1, label 2, text box 1, text box 2. Then you using a link label and lo button for login. Button for login. First, label one you rename it. Link label also rename it. Label two also rename it. First, label one you rename username. Rename as username. Label two you rename as password. After that, link label you using to create a new user. Then login. In first form. This is enough for first form. Then you go to Solution Explorer. In Solution Explorer, we are using a form. Already we created a form 2. Then you click, you click form 2. Same design will be pasted in the form 2 also. If you want means you use a forget password. Otherwise no need to use the form. In second form, as usual, username, password, login, create new user. These are our designing a login application. Then, next is form 3. Form 2 you designed, then you design a form 3. In label button, link label, use a property to rename this username, password, login, create in user, all these things. Then form 3. Then form 3 you use to design a one picture box and one button. Next. In form 3. If you want to use a button or picture box, any controls you use in this form. This is for just a reference only. That link button 
given use that link to go to third form welcome to sjci label that then log out if you log in in the first form the link will be given to the third form if you log out mean again the link will be given to the first form next this is a designing process designing process will be completed we created three forms after that boring area form 1.cs that form 1.cs now we are using a form 3 in form 3 we link a button for button coding form 3 form 3 we create a object equal to new form 1 object one dot show this link will be used for logout you click your logout means the form will be going to first form just the link will be open Next, you click here first form one dot cs. Now, in that namespace, you freshly added using system dot yes will be camps system dot data dot oldb. Next, public partial class you you must use oldb connection. OLEDB command, OLEDB data reader, OLEDB, OLEDB data. OLEDB connection use com C O N. Then OLEDB command we use com. OLEDB data reader we using D R. In next process. public form initialize component we used to connect a database program now we generate a connection connection equal to new oldb connection now connection will be copied from the database process this provider will be copied from data and data source in that area we copy in this connections we using a database name The database name will be dot mdb and the 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 database name will be a mdb next the link button will be given to form 2 suppose we don't know about password means we using a link button to forget password these are that after that you create a new forget password for that you are writing the link label next first form you click it that login button connection dot open you must write connection dot open command we insert a query command equal to new oldb command next open bracket in double quotes you fill fill that select query select star from table name where name equal to username and password select username password from I given a name of flower for table database table flower where username and password where username and password the data will be inserted.
square username equal to in double quote, single quotes double quotes plus text box one dot text. Plus, you close that double quotes and single quotes. Come on. Next password. Password equal to text box. Password equal to single quotes, double quotes plus text box two dot text. Then we close that connection. Then data reader equal to command dot execute reader. We type it. If data reader dot date data reader dot read read the data from the table form form three object three equal to new form three username now username and password will be correct means the form will be moved to third form login automatically. Else, suppose the username and password will be wrong means else message message box will show invalid username and password. Then connection dot close. Then form 2 as usual you including the namespace using system.data.oledb. This is must for database table, database application. We included using system.data.oledb. After that same process connection command date connection command. Same process, the second form will be created. Connection command. Now we now in second form we use the code in button connection dot open connection dot close. Then connection equal to new OLEDB command. Now insert your command. Select star from table name. To insert a data in table, fetch the data from table. Then in second form, we using connection equal to new OLEDB command. Sorry, command equal to new OLEDB command. Insert into flower values. Flower is a table name. Then text box one dot text, text box two dot text. We close the connections. Next connection dot close. We included the insert query exit command message message box dot show message box dot show login successfully. Or user account created successfully, then form one dot object equal to new form one. In second form, you log in, you press that login button, you link it to form one button, form one page. This dot close, then connection dot close. Then in this process we using a MS access database.
you go and open the access database. In the database, you select blank database. After that, create database file name. Now I create rows. This is my database name. Rows. You select that path for file location. In desktop, I selected rows file name. I selected a database format 2004. Rows.mdb. My file name is rows.mdb. My database file name is rows. Okay, now we create. After the uh, MS Access database, we choose this design view. You create a table name. Table name flower. Okay. Next, you choose the primary key. You delete the row. Now, you select do you want to delete this field again? Anyway, yes. Now, you create a table field. Now, I created a table field data user name and data type password and data type. In password, you need a in number means you select a number, otherwise, text will be no problem. Okay, I created a field then. I save it in access. I close the table. Then you go to the flower and open the view. Username and password will be created. This is a access database table. In access database only, we selected to connect with Windows application. After that, we connect it. We used to run. These are the steps to design a database.